Welcome to this James the Bike Guy, where today we're getting a chance to take a look at the entry level version of the Specialized Stump Jumper. The Stump Jumper is a modern trail bike from Specialized and one of the most popular available on sale today. And in front of us is the Stump Jumper Alloy for 2022, which is the base level version that gets you into this modern, fun geometry mountain bike for a price that's not too bad. So in this video, we're gonna go into the features and designs of the bike, talk about what all it comes with, what all it does, and then of course, we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, stick around and let's check out this bike together. So to begin talking about the Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy, we should talk about where this bike falls in Specialized lineup and what it is all about. So this bike here is one of the most popular all mountain to trail bikes that's on sale today. And the Specialized Stump Jumper earns that by having a really playful bike with adjustable geometry, enough travel to do just about anything, all packaged into one rig. And so it first starts with 140 millimeters of front suspension travel, moves out back to 130 millimeters of rear suspension. It utilizes their FSR horse link suspension design, which does have adjustable geometry, we'll get into a bit, attached with an aluminum frame, 29 inch wheels, and progressive geometry. And so that all allows this bike to be a one quiver if you were picking up one mountain bike to do a real varied amount of terrain, because with 140 and 130 rear, that means that this bike has enough suspension travel for some features, a lot of different trail conditions, but it's still short enough travel to be real playful. Now in the lineup, Specialized does have their Epic. The Epic is a more cross country focused full suspension mountain bike. They then have their Stump Jumper Evo, which lengthens the travel up front to 160 and lengthens the rear travel, making it a much burlier bike. And in the Enduro segment, they've got the Specialized Enduro. And in the Stump Jumper series, they have the alloy framed versions here, which are made using their M4 butted aluminum. They also have their 11R carbon frames and then their S-Works 11M carbon frame as well. So this particular rig, let's talk about a few of the features. First off is gonna be in the geometry front. So this has a flip chip at the rear axle, which allows you to go into a high and a low position for the bottom bracket, which also changes the head tube and seat tube angle, giving it a head tube angle of 65.5 and high and 65 and low, a seat tube angle of 77.7 and high and 77.2 and low. And then you rock a stack of 631 millimeters and a reach of 475 millimeters. And those measurements really line this up to be a fairly progressive modern trail bike, but not so crazy that the head tube is too slack that it starts to get floppy in the front end or the reach is so long that it's tough to get the fit. Now those numbers were in a size S4 and that is one place that it's a bit interesting. So you see that S4 on the seat tube that is most akin to say a traditional size large, but these come from S1 to S6 and you buy the bike based on the size of the reach and how you want it to feel versus a small, medium, large. So it gives a bit more adjustment, the six different sizes to dial it into your fit. Specialized does have a fit guide on their website to help dial in which one's right. Now to make that adjustable geometry work, we need to go back to the FSR rear suspension. So this suspension design is a true four bar link, meaning you've got one bar, which has a pivot there. Then you've got your second bar, third bar, and then your fourth. And what that does is it helps separate the pedaling, the bump, and the braking forces between the bike. It gives a real active suspension design. It's not quite as snappy as some that have some more engineered anti-squat to it, but it does have great anti-rise characteristics. And this piece right back there is that adjustment for the geometry. So that has the high and low position, and then it drives through this linkage driven suspension to an X-Fusion rear shock in their sidearm design. Sidearm's pretty neat because it has aluminum coming down only on one side, and you can see the cable routing is hidden behind that black shield. And that goes through this M4 aluminum frame to the inch and an eighth to inch and a half head tube going down to your RockShock 35 fork. The 35 fork is a more entry level fork, but it's got nice, large, beefy stanchions. It's got an adjustment from open to lock out. And then of course, you've got rebound adjust and the capability of adjusting the suspension through air pressure. 
So air shock up front, air shock in back. You can dial it in to your riding style and wait. The fit of the bike is gonna be connected through this alloy cockpit. So we start off with a specialized alloy handlebar. This is a 35 mil bar clamp. It's got a bit of a rise to it, as well as a nice sweep going to the back. And then of course, connecting it to that steer is through a 35 millimeter alloy stem. And then out back, you're perched up on the body geometry bridge saddle and then connect it up to Trans X dropper seat post. Now this dropper seat post is operated via a one by lever, allowing the dropper to spring up and depending on the frame size, it's gonna come in different travel lengths. So this being an S4, it comes with a 150 millimeter dropper post, and they range from 100 millimeters on an S1 to all the way up to 200 millimeters on an S6. Now drivetrain is one of the places that the stump jumper alloy comes in a little bit lower spec than some others, but it's still bringing a one by Eagle drivetrain. So that means it's got a single ring up front on the SRAM SX crank set going through a threaded bottom bracket. And then out back, you have the SRAM SX Eagle rear derailleur operating through an 11 to 50 tooth rear cassette. So that gives a pretty wide range on the drivetrain. Fairly durable, although one place that you might upgrade into the future is these SX derailleurs do get damaged sometimes when they hit rocks breaking on the plastic B knuckle here but that's swapped out to an NX or a GX in the future, we'll solve that challenge. And then slowing the bike down on the handlebar is courtesy of the Tektro Gemini SL brakes. These are a mineral oil brake. They have a pretty decent feel to them and they slow down on some two piston calipers on the front and the rear. The shifting is then still courtesy of some SRAM SX shifters. So thumb button to go to an easier gear, thumb button forward to go to a harder gear. And I do like that this bike does come stock with some lock-on grips. So you see that little bolt there? That locks this grip on so it won't start sliding around on you. Also makes it easy to take them on and off if you're cleaning the bike or changing out stuff like the touch points to change up color and make the bike your own. The last bit to go into is gonna be the wheel set on the bike. So as we said before, these are 29 inch wheels. The wheels themselves are gonna run an alloy double walled rim with eyeleted spoke holes. Should make it a bit stronger, although they don't specifically call these out for tubeless. The bike is coming with tubeless tires. So up front is the Butcher Grid T9. This is a pretty nice durable tire. Of course, you can see these uh, nice chunky tread blocks to it and they're gonna be in a 29 by 2.3 up front. And then out back, it's gonna to go to a bit faster rolling tire here, 29 by 2.3 as well, but this is the purgatory tire in the grid T7. So the T7 compound is a bit harder, faster rolling than the T9 up front, which is on the stickier side. But that would make sense because you want that front end to really lock up and then the back end can move around a bit. These are coming with tubes, but might be a place where with a little bit of jury rigging, you could get it set up tubeless. Well, with all that said, I think it's time now to find out exactly what this bike weighs. The actual weight for the stump jumper alloy in a size S4 is gonna come in and weigh 34.24 pounds. Well, thanks so much for watching this video on the 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this base level entry stump jumper. Is the bike worth it for what comes with it or would you upgrade to the comp level or beyond? Well, thanks again. Leave those comments down below and browse the channel to check out more.